Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Fates, and in this episode, we are going to be taking on another Paralogue mission, this time Paralogue 2. But before we do that, now that Chapter 20 has been completed, we can upgrade our shops to the maximum rank, Rank 4, which uh, usually is not an exciting moment in uh, any game, really, but in Fire Emblem Fates, it means one thing. First off, the armor is going to have weapons that are extremely powerful such as well calam oh, actually no we already had that dragon spirits a new one very strong but uh yeah there's tons of weapons here now you can just straight up buy the spy shuriken which is really nice if we get someone with a rank shuriken but yes there is a whole lot of weapons to choose from and you should look be on the lookout for a very special sword called the Eleven sword which uh we'll get to once i actually grab it but yes that is just the tip of the iceberg the real reason that is incredibly exciting for us to finally max out our shops is because the Rod Shop will now sell infinite Master Seals and Heart Seals and pretty much let you break the game. There is also the Eternal Seal, which will literally just increase the level cap up to 99. Yeah, they're really expensive though, so keep that in mind but yes now promotions are going to be like crazy there's just so many options that are available to us now and we'll be getting in those in due time and I also find it kind of stupid I have to buy from my own shop even though this is our fort I just now questioned that anyways the bear logs we're going to take I was talking Felicia gosh and anyway, the bear log that we're going to take on in this episode is going to be very tough because now the units are going to all be promoted from this point onward, and it's going to be a giant pain in the butt, but we really, really, really want to take on this next paralogue because it will give us Corin's daughter, which, uh, yeah, she's going to be pretty strong considering both her parents are, uh, well, extremely powerful. So let's get to it and rescue our daughter. <gasps> what a lovely day! I might just break out in song and twirl around all the day long. Hmm, but Papa is visiting today, and I haven't seen him in such a long time. I better do something special for him. Gather some fruit? Fish for fish? Ah, I know. Papa should have both, so I'd better get going. Huh? Who are you? You look weird. Get away from me! Uh, what do you all want? You better not be here to make trouble. My papa will be here soon. They're not listening, but I can't just run. They look ready to do evil things. Here in the nick of time. Are you alright, Kana? P papa I'm so sorry. Kana, you've been safe here for so long. I never thought anyone would come here to hurt you. Please tell me, are you okay? Yeah. Thank the gods. Now off with you. Your papa has everything in hand. You, you dare touch my child! I'll soak these fields with your blood! There are too many of them! I'll protect you. Kana, don't worry about me. I told you to run! Now the rest of you, prepare to join your comrades in death! <sighs> They're tough, but I have to keep them away from- No! You bunch of bullies! Stop hurting Papa! <sighs> Kana, how many times do I have to tell you? Run! No! I'm not going to leave, Papa. Not when I've waited so long to see you again. No one's going to take you from me. I'm staying right, right here. But you're. <laughs> Kana, you're. It can't be. She shouldn't have the ability to. No. She must have inherited it from me. But if her to wake in here? Now? She's out of control. This must be her first time transforming. She's at risk losing herself to a mindless rampage. The face of these foes. Friends, join me. 
We must clear the field of this menace fast! The second paralogue mission is usually not this difficult, but since we're doing it so late into the story, um... Yeah, we're gonna have to take down some pretty deadly foes, most notably a level 12 Swordmaster. Oh boy, that's not going to be fun. And ton of Falcon Knights. Yeah, there are a lot of units in this battle, but we have come prepared. If you have it, I highly recommend giving Silas the Beast Killer if he can wield it. If he can, he's going to completely destroy all these Falcon Knights. They should not be a problem at all. Just in case he can't, though, Takumi's also here for some backup. And yeah, uh, they were pretty much we're pretty much surrounded in all fronts. But here's the deal: Kana is strong. At least my Kana is. She has Astra and Dragon Fang. Yeah, she's not promoted, but the fact that she has Astra, oh my, she's going to completely destroy everything here if she gets the chance. But uh, yeah, really, just bring your best units to counter each type of unit you're going to encounter here. For instance, I have Hinoka and Saizo to take care of these Onimuji. And really, the Samurai can't really do too much to Oboro, assuming she does get her next skill. As for all the archers, magic users should do well. And well, now that's taken care of, let's hope for the best and get this started. Route the enemy. And I'm going to be totally honest, I don't like this chapter. It's given me a lot of trouble before, just at the point in the game in which I do it. But the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to flood ourselves in. Basically, protecting Kana is our highest priority. And where is the next Dragon Vein? Oh yeah, it's right over there. Let me activate that real fast. And that will make it way more difficult for the invaders to reach Kana. However, if Kana gets into a fight, she can you or at least my Kana can, she can usually just defend herself. I'm just gonna let Saizo get a little bit closer. And really, there's no reason for us to advance right now. It is true, Rajat is kind of in harm's way, so if we just move right here, we should totally be fine. So really the only people that are in the danger zone are Silas and Saizo, who can easily take a little bit of damage. Also, Saizo got a brand new attack and that is lethality. I forgot to hit the button. Yeah, this kills someone instantaneously, regardless of anything else, just based on his skill. And at the moment, he has 31 skill. So I really hope we get that to proc. If we don't, it's not the end of the world. But uh, yeah, let's actually check out Kana really quickly. Her dragon form is awesome. I know we haven't been using the dragon form in this LP because it's debatably just pure Swordmaster Corrin's way better because of all the speed increases, but honestly, she's tough, man. And so far, I'm not going to do too much on my first turn. All right, perfect. And oh, crud, I actually have the dual shuriken equipped. That's not good. You're probably going to get hit by this. Bummer. Well, Sakura can... Ooh. Bad news. Bad news. Oh, my gosh, dude. Saizo's voice actor is so stinking cool, man. I wish I could use a fraction as great as him, but uh, yeah, um... Big mistake on my part, Saizo's going to take a bunch of unnecessary damage, and I really hope he doesn't get attacked by one more Omiyuji. That would be absolutely terrible, but here's the thing. These Falcon Knights do zero damage to my current leveled Silas, so if you have the Beast Killer, depending if you're playing this on Birthright or Conquest, it, you may get it at different chapters, but assuming you have that, it's pretty much a done deal. And okay, perfect. I did bait out the healer. That's really all I wanted to accomplish by putting Saizo there, and okay, Kana will not move perfect. So, so far, everything's going according to plan, except for the fact I really need to heal up um, Saizo. So let's do that right now. Sun Festival, yeah, I definitely need to go for that one. Hopefully they'll heal, okay, 25, not terrible. And I think, yeah, that will be a level up for Sakura. She could technically promote to a, well, I'm not gonna spoil the class, but she could promote at the moment. I'm not sure if I wanna do that or not, to be totally honest with you, but eh, we'll figure it out as we go. Uh, for the time being though, yeah, your beast is getting killed. We don't even need a double. Assuming we do hit this, all right, my boy Silas. I gotta say though, out of all the weapons in Fire Emblem Fates, the beast killer just looks so bad. Like I understand it's from like, you know, Awakening and all, but it just looks so out of place. Compare the Fujiyumi to the Beast Killer. It doesn't even look like it belongs in the same universe, man. I don't know. That's just how I see it. But uh, yeah, let's get started on these. Okay, we can one hit KO those, but I'm really not too terribly concerned with the healer. 
I mean, if they have no one else to heal, what's really the point? It is true they will get the support bonus for just being near other units, but I think we can handle them, right? Right now, I really hope we proc lethality. The amount of times I'm going to use Silas, though, or Sizo, I <laughs> keep doing that. Chances are we're going to see it once or twice. And Okay, Steel Shuriken. Uh, it's a little bit risky. Ah, do we have anyone else who can help? I could potentially get Corrin to go over there, but that seems like kind of a waste. Um, I don't think pairing up Saizo and Sakura will kill this unit any faster, so I think what I'm going to do is just hope we get the crit. I mean, Saizo's been getting a lot of them, so it could happen. Nope, no lethality, no crit. Bummer. We dodge the attack, though. I'll take that. Unfortunately, the healer will heal it up a tiny bit, but that's not the end of the world. How many Falcon Knights do we... Okay, the next wave will come in soon. I'm really not going to worry about the Bowman for right now. I'm just going to leave Orochi and crew over there. They should be okay, and now I'm going to start using Corrin. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. Corrin at the rate he is right now, is completely broken. Like, he could probably do this entire map by himself, and oh, going for Silas. Interesting. Did not see that coming. That actually could be an issue, since I still have to take down all of these Pegasus Knights, but at the same time, they don't really do damage. All right, so now we got a pickle. Um, I'm going to assume, yes, we should be able to finish this guy off good. So that's one worry out of the way. We do have the moat up, though, so we don't really need to worry about the Swordmasters for at least a turn or two. This is not going to kill, so I don't even know why I didn't use a stronger Naginata. Uh, my mistake. I was feeling nostalgic for once we first got Hinoka, and she had this cool thing, and I liked it a lot, and I thought it was going to be one of her best weapons. But in reality, it's not really that good. Okay, so what do we do now? Um, Beast Killer is killing the beast. Nobody thinks that's funny. Why do I even say that? <laughs> God, I'm being so hard on myself, man. But, uh, Silas. Oh, oh man, that was a good level. Is that. If he got luck, that would have been a perfect level up. Dude, that rarely happened. I mean, for Silas, it could happen a lot. I'm not actually too sure, but. That's a very rare sight to see. We're gonna go ahead and take down this Falcon Knight with Corrin. I don't see reason not to. And I need to prepare myself anyways. And, ooh. I'm taking these crits, man. I don't even think I've mentioned it, but the Noble Yato does actually give us stat increases. In a game where you're basically penalized for using certain weapons, the Noble Yato does the exact opposite. Plus two to strength and speed. What the dump? And it's only going to get better from here on out. But I'm not going to say anything more. Let's just finish off this Falcon Knight and get to healing Silas. I honestly did not think that the... Uh, Omiyuji would go over there. I, I know I'm saying that wrong. I just It makes me like, just, John, you said it wrong again. But finally, Takumi will get to level 5, which uh, is really good because he will get certain blow, which makes his accuracy shoot through the roof. So it doesn't even matter if the weapon triangle's right or not. Well, welcome to our snipers. Yeah, they're really strong in the... I don't, I don't know. They were okay in Awakening, but now I think they're overbuffed personally, but... Let's think about things. The Swordmasters, okay, they're just chilling, doing their own thing. This whole row of guys, though, don't even worry about them till the end. And, okay, now I think might be a good idea. Ugh, here's the problem. These snipers, there's three of them. And we only have two magic users that can get in their face. And I'm not even sure if Orochi can one-hit KO them. So I'm going to wait for Corrin, actually. And so far, I'm being there. Oh, that's actually super bad. I did not want that healer to survive. Oh, gosh, this is really really bad actually um we're going to pair up Oboro and Silas and just intercept these sword masters I'm going to keep Takumi near as well I know for a fact though that Hinoka will be completely safe so I'm just going to go in here and just completely wreck the uh well, I, I'm saying completely I really hope I hit her come on he okay there we go because I don't want her healing anybody up. And I know Kinoka can take a couple hits from these guys. So, so far, everything's looking fine. Saizo, though, might need to back up a bit and get healed by Sakura. His wife, a little bit. <laughs> Does that mean Saizo's royalty now? I mean, not obviously royalty in the fact that you'd use, you know, the dragon veins and stuff. But you know what I mean. So, now we're going to use Corrin to bait a bit. We don't have the best resistances on Earth. But I know I can at least take a couple of arrows. Actually... What would be the best way to go about this? I'm, yeah, I'm going to sit right here, and hopefully that'll bait a couple of the bowmen out, and hopefully the snipers don't crit me. That would suck. I don't even know if they have crit, but yeah. The most they can do is two damage, 
And Hinoka is tanky, dude, especially with a guard Naginata. Sure, we're not going to be able to crit versus them because they are sword masters, but here's the thing. Sword masters can't do crap versus a Nagi. Oh, get it? She said stitches because she likes to sew. Uh, I don't know what it is. Some people say like Oboro is way too girly, but I don't think she's nec Is that necessarily a bad thing? Like she can obviously like kick butt and stuff. But I'm just saying like, I don't see how that's a negative thing. She is a girl. Sure, she might be stereotypical or something, but I don't know. I like her character a lot, but yeah, she learned seal speed. That's a good skill because uh, after this battle, this guy will have half of his speed. And for sword masters, that's kind of important. Yeah, so Obodo or any spear fighter for that matter, fantastic to fight. Oh wow, you have two percent. You have two percent hit. I forgot you're technically axes. Holy crud! Um, I knew this would be like you know kind of like I, I had confidence corn was going to be fine, but uh, they have two percent hit and they're snipers. I understand they don't have certain blow. Because, you know, they can't have skills because this is normal mode and stuff, but holy crud, man. God dang, that's uh, crazy. Anyways, we're going to show off, um, hopefully Rajat's new skill. And really, nothing can... Mm, whatever. It doesn't really matter, but off screen, Rajat learned Rend Hev... Oh, man, we didn't get it. Bummer. It basically takes half of the opponent's strength or magic and turns it against them if it procs. It's a skill proc, but oh boy, is it a good one. It's debatably one of the best skills in the game. And once I get that on Corn, any strength using character is just going to bite the bucket. Uh, wait. Bite the bucket. John, you, you said bite the... Why would they, why did you bite a bucket? What is wrong with me today? Dude, I always tell myself don't record videos late at night, which is why I'm recording this in the middle of the day. But it appears that doesn't even matter. I will always say stupid things, and that's one thing you can count on. <laughs> but, uh... Hmm, I really want to proc this skill, so I'm gonna actually get Raja in there, and hopefully she can one-hit KO. Oh my gosh. She has 22 resistance, man, come on! All right, he's on a scroll. Maybe we can get a crit. I really want to show what Ren Heaven off, though, because it looks so cool. Nope, didn't get it. Bummer, man. Wait, can he's on a scroll even proc those effects? I'm not sure. Can I make follow-up attacks? That's fine. Oh, man, I really want to show off Ren. Well, we're going to have chances to show that off a little bit later, but I just really, really wanted to show it in this episode because it's, it looks so cool. But, oh, alas, what's a bully to do? And dang, you know what? You know, cut. You just keep going, girl. I ain't stopping you. And your stinking Pegasus Falcon, whatever the dump you want to call it. Uh, spe oh, the spear fighters are still in full effect, though. Don't really have anything to take them down with necessarily. Um, we did not bring any axe units to this battle. A little bit stupid on my part, I will agree. But uh, hey, they can't really take down our entire army. And so far, we're doing fine. Really, this chapter is not difficult. If you have, you know, just the right characters, really, just plan accordingly. Use the view map feature and look around. It ain't gonna have nobody. Okay, um, I want to show Ren Heaven off so bad. It's not fair. God dang it! Come on, Rajat. I know you have, like, crazy skill. Just do it for Corrin. Oh, gosh, you're in the danger zone. That's not good. Oh. Hmm. Honestly, I hate to do this, but I'm not losing any characters. I'm gonna get Rajat out of the danger zone. Hopefully, uh, now we're all kind of screwed, huh? Okay, here's an idea. We knock you out. Oh no, he has a lot of HP. Okay, okay, here's an idea, here's an idea. Can Silas do any damage at all? No, he cannot. He cannot one-hit KO. Neither can Oboro. This is an issue, okay. Some damage is better than none, though. Sure, the spear fighters are an issue, but for some reason, I didn't heed my own advice and take any axe units, but that's fine. Uh, now, all of us behind Oboto are fine, so I'm just gonna go finish him off with Saizo. Oh, you know what? We can still get lethality. Come on. Dang it. <laughs> I'm hoping for way too much, man. I know we'll see the skills eventually. I'm just saying. We'll see them now. They look so cool. Especially lethality. 
probably the coolest skill in the game. And that wasn't such a bad level size. I mean, you could obviously do that. There's always room to improve, but I'm just saying, man. Don't beat yourself up over it. All right. We can kill here. I think this is a decent move to make. Um, do I have Calamity Gate on you? No, I don't. Bummer. Uh, Horse Spirit can work, though. So if we get counterattacked, yeah, we should be fine. All right. This is a big gambit, but assuming Rajat can tank at least one spear fighter attack, there's very low chance he can double. We should be okay. We're getting the level up, too. I know he's, like, level 8, and we're technically level 6, but, uh, oh, how boring. Yeah, that was a really cruddy level. Not gonna lie. Um, I feel like there's a way we can do this, though, still. And, oh, crap, I almost forgot. Yeah, I should probably uh, finish that guy off. And, man, I want to show Kana off in one battle, but... I guess we're not gonna see that, unfortunately. And holy cruddy, Hinoka's stronger than re- I won't lose. Whoa! Yet again, almost another perfect level. This has been a very lucky episode for a variety of reasons. Um, Yeah, that'll definitely kill. Go for it, Takumi. Get in there. Oh, Takumi and Oboro back at it again. Just like old times, except, uh, yeah, you're kind of married to Silas. <laughs> I wonder if Silas is jealous, like, stick, stick. royalty always get a good- Anywho, this guy is not killing Raja at all. And also, Horse Spirit's really cool, guys. Oh, there it is. Rend the heavens. It's going to do, like, not a lot, because this guy doesn't actually have a lot of magic on him. But it looks cool. At least the skill proc does. Holy crud, Corrin. Slow down, man. You're liking everybody look bad. Oh, my goodness. All right. So I kind of do want Kana to get in danger, because I want her to proc Astra and such, but... I don't know, man. Seems a little risky. All right, I'm just gonna move Hinaka over here. He Hinaka, Hinaka, get over here. Sounds like uh, someone I used to know. Uh, there still are five units though, including the really, really deadly sword master. So I'm just gonna proc horse spirit, and now let's just fly towards the enemy. Not literally, since only a couple of us have wings. Even though Corn does have wings, just he doesn't really use them anymore, huh? All right. So far, everything's looking good. I kind of want to keep Corn over here, though, for something that's going to happen later. Just a word of warning, but uh, so far, everything's looking good. I'm actually going to stick Azura near Kana just for a little while. Okay, here they come. It all comes down to this. Uh, I really, really hope this bow guy does not get anywhere near Hinoka. He could definitely lose like that. Okay. Let's think about it, though. Hmm. If I move right here, can we kill? Yes. So that's what I'm going to do. Unfortunately, that Swordmaster will be very close to Saizo, but I think we should be fine. And okay. Awesome. So, so far, the steel weapons risky to use, but... They paid off in this battle. Actually, no. I was think keep thinking of silver for some reason. I don't really know why. Obodo can almost one-shot this commander. It's not a problem if she do Ooh. Well, I was going to say, even if... Oh, my gosh. That has to hurt. Holy crud, dude. Just str Like, she legit uppercutted the enemy commander with a Naginata. You wouldn't even have a face after that. You... you I'm not going to go into too much detail, but you guys got to figure it out. Okay, um, remind me not to make her mad. Uh, anyways, let's see. He can get, okay, we can get right here and be safe. I think I can honestly take down that sniper, no problem. Let's see, uh, it's not worth it. Obodo can finish that guy off next turn. I'm really not too worried, but uh, so far, everything's looking fine. Man, I wanted Kana to fight, though. I'm kind of bummed out over that. Well, you'll get to see that in coming episodes, because straight off the bat, dude, Kana is a force to be reckoned with. Like, without a doubt, man, she's going to kick some serious butt. But, yeah, uh, I guess this was the Obodo chapter to shine. Like, seriously, she completely kicked butt, dude. I did not even see that coming. Okay. Oh, here they come. What do we have here, Lloyd? Hey, bro. I don't know. <gasps> it's plain as the nose in your face. Can't you see it over there? Uh, see what? Where? I don't know. My nearsighted brother. Maybe I mean that dragon yonder. <laughs> Who named a dragon yonder? <laughs> no, you able. 
great baboon. I mean the dragon way over yonder. <laughs> Why did you say so? Dragons are like gods. We should catch it. <laughs> yes, we'll make it our pet. I got on a leash, but let's proceed sensibly. We should pummel it to the brink of death. But what should we name it? Oh, you want to attack my daughter? You made a big mistake, buddy. You're going down. Yeah, these guys suck, by the way. Just throwing that out there and... That dragon belongs to me. I'm going to name it Lardbutt. Her name is Hana, and you are not naming her anything. Taste my dragon fang, you stinking nerd. Get out of here. But Lardbutt, I'll give you all the dragon treats you could... <laughs> she, just, she already ate dinner, by the way. So, I don't think that's at all necessary, and yeah, um, technically I could get Orochi to capture these guys, but I honestly don't give a dump. They kind of suck. Uh, hmm, could go with ye- oh man, we do like no damage to the sniper, bro, what the heck? Um, Hinoka is basically the best candidate to take him down, holy co oh, wow. I was about to say, Saizo could just finish him off, but uh, yeah, we kind of didn't need that. And wow, um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I was practicing this like a little bit earlier today, and it was giving me a lot of troubles, but uh, yeah, if you have a Spear Master, you're pretty much good against the Sword Masters. Pretty simple there, and uh, oh, you're dead. That dragon's mine! I'm gonna name it Lizard Face. Her name is Kana, and you, well, yeah. Pretty much the same thing that happened to your brother. You're dead. Sorry. I don't think I'm that sorry. <laughs> uh, so much for lizard face. Yeah, uh... You picked the wrong time to come to this deep realm, buddy. How'd you even get here? <sighs> what... What happened, Papa? I dreamed that I turned into a dragon. Yeah. Well, you did, Kana. Huh? I did? For real? You look upset, Papa. I didn't mean to do it. I only wanted to protect you. But I'm small, and I felt useless. Then I felt myself get so angry. I heard a roaring in my head. I got louder and louder, until I couldn't hear myself thinking anymore. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to turn into a dragon. Am I in trouble now? No. Far from it. You've made me the happiest father in the world. I'd turn into a dragon, too. <gasps> what? Papa, you? Listen. Kana, I'm sorry that I haven't visited you enough to explain, but I keep my power and control by using a very special stone. You must, too, or else the dragon within may take over. Don't be scared. You just need a stone. Azura has given me a stone that you can use. So carry this with you, always. Thank you. It's such a beautiful stone. I'll treasure it, Papa. But now that I can turn into a dragon, can I maybe travel with you? I'm so sorry. Kana, but you're too young. My world is too dangerous. <gasps> Papa, I guess I can wait longer, but only if you promise to visit more often. Oh. Of course I promise. Cross my heart and hope to... Uh... I, I promise. That's all. And I'll be sure to bring you a nice gift next time I come. Yeah. All right, Papa. <laughs> That's my girl. Be good, Kana. And you keep hanging on to that stone. <laughs> no, Papa, wait! Huh? Kana, I have to go. A lot of people are depending on your Papa. <laughs> I... I know. That's why I have to go with you. I'm depending on you two to come back. And I never know if you'll, if you'll, if you'll die and never come back. What if I grow old enough to leave here? But by then you're gone. <clears throat> Kana, I'm only trying to protect you. But if that's how you feel, if it's agony for you being here, that's the last thing I want. Maybe. All right, you're coming. With your new powers, you must be safer with me. I need to explain all of this to my friends. You need to say goodbye to yours. What? I gotta come with you? Really? Yes. 
really. But, Kana, it's a different world out there. It's not a game. It's scary. I'll look after you. Still, are you sure you're grown up enough for this? Well... I'm only a little kid. But I'm old enough to be a dragon. And my papa's one too. Alright. Like father, like daughter. I guess there's a lot we should catch up about. Yes. I can't wait. Papa? I have to say one more thing. Before we leave... That's Dragon for I Love You. And the worst line in Fire Emblem Fates goes to... That one. Not really. It's just poking fun at it. Anyways, Kana joins the army. And, uh, yeah, she's pretty good. She didn't get to see any combat in this episode, but uh, once we use the offspring seal with her, whoa, she is going to get strong really, really quickly. But that is all the time I have for today. As always, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a lot of fun to make it for you. And I'm glad that one's over because now we have Kana. And there's no way King Garen can fight off two dragons at the same time. Actually, maybe he can. Well, it'll definitely be more difficult for him. Anyways, segues aside, hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.